members of Lincoln. Uh, uh, I think it's a short one. Thank you for coming. Uh, I think it will be a wonderful session on sharing how things are on the other part of the other world. I think with all the experience of our speakers, I think there's something that we can learn from it and see how other people handle things. So I think without further ado, I call upon uh, Mr. Koda. I think it gives you a pleasure. Thank you, sir, for the nice introduction. And yes, good afternoon, the members of the Lincoln. My subject is very selective. That is on disaster. We all know that disaster is happening everywhere. But to face it, we need a long-term planning. We need a thorough preparedness planning. And these are the platforms where we can say something, we can share our views. You can also share your views. And by this way, I think one day will come when at least we'll be able to solve some of the problems. I came from India and to introduce myself, I am basically a critical care specialist. My brother, Dr. Shundeep Purda, is also attached in your he is a member of the Lincoln Group of Universities. And to tell regarding the disaster, as because I am coming from India, I can say that India is a disaster from country and that at least for the last 20 and 30 years, India has been frequently affected by natural, health-related or man-made disasters and it is practically happening each and every year. So we must be conscious. And our duty to make conscious each and every sector, each and every part of the world. And in the last three decades, a plethora of disasters have claimed thousands and thousands of lives, and it affected the millions and millions of people, and have resulted in socio-economic crisis. So, a disaster can be defined as a serious disruption of the functioning of a society, causing widespread human, material, economical and environmental losses, which exceed the ability to cope its own resources. Over the past two decades, natural disasters alone have claimed more than three million lives and affected more than a billion people worldwide. Man-made disasters such as war, terrorism and chemical and nuclear accidents loom a constant threat over the civilization. And the factors contributing to the disaster severity is human vulnerability due to the poverty and social inequality, environmental degradation is very, very important. And rapid population growth, especially among the poor, it is causing disaster. Because we have certain limitation in poverty. And as because the population in, in, in this way, there is a lack of uh, what I will say, the, actually the, everything is being not properly shared by equality throughout the world. Influence of population growth is urban dwellers is in 1920, it was 100 million and 1980, it was 1 billion, 2004, 2 billion, 2012, around 3 billion and 2004, 20 cities with more than 10 million people 
and 2012 is 20 cities within more than 20 million of people. 57 part of the country is earthquake prone in India and 28 percent is drought prone and 10 to 12 percent is flood prone. That is the picture in India. So we will have to take proper preparedness planning. And what are the types of disaster? Number one, it can be classified according to the three groups, major groups. One is your natural disaster. One is your health-related disaster that you all concerned. You are studying here. Naturally, you are quite conscious about the health-related disaster. And another is our man-made disasters. We ourselves is responsible for the disaster. Natural disasters include earthquake, drought, flood, cyclone, landslide, tsunami, forest fire, volcanic eruption. These are the natural disasters. Can we prevent natural disaster? No. But by implementing certain good plans, we can at least minimize the impact of the disaster. And what are the health-related disasters? Just see, this is, this is the effect of, uh, you can remember the Gujarat earthquake. There was more than 8.0 eight Richter scale, there was a tremor. And after that, this is the position of Gujarat as a whole. And now, these are another thing, is very recently, our neighboring country, is Nepal, is also affected. We have seen, we have gone there, we have walked there. They have got a very good disaster management team, although they have the, they couldn't uh, resist the disaster. This is tornado, is not common in all, all parts of the world. This is cyclone, this is cyclone, this is also cyclone. And this is the effect of the cyclone. Uh, this is tsunami. Your neighboring country is Indonesia that has been badly affected by tsunami. This is the body, whenever we went there, the southeast part of the Asia, we went to Nagapattinam, that is the southern part uh, of India. And where we have seen the body was discovered after six days. And this is the position of the body that was found. Uh, after the disaster, great tsunami. This is the Kashmir flood. You all quite quite aware that just a year back there's a flood, and uh, the devastated flood has taken a toll of many lives in Kashmir. This is the dead bodies. Actually, this is the position. This was the position in Kashmir. Now coming to the health related disaster. There are many diseases. I do not know if you can share regarding HIV AIDS. That is, that is one of the prominent part in India, also throughout some part of the world. And rabies, although the rabies is a 100% dreaded fatal disease, and in India, at the 20,000 deaths are there, and through the worldwide it is more than 30 to 35,000 of deaths still. And the main causes of rabies is due to the dog bite, due to the bite by the warm-blooded animal. And the standard protocol that can be prevented only by implementing WHO guideline regarding the management of rabies. That is, number one, wound wash. Number second, administration of rabies immunoglobulin throughout the wound after doing the categorization, category one, two, and three. And finally, the vaccination. That means, what I want to tell you, that means if we can implement this one, that positively this preparedness planning is there, that we can follow the WHO guideline, then we can see only that their prevention is better than cure. We cannot cure a patient with rabies, but we can minimize the death rate. And one day will come where rabies will be possible to eliminate. In the streets, I have seen very few dogs. That is also a good sign in Malaysia. 
hepatitis, that is, there is a poster I have seen in uh, entering the room, the hepatitis. What are the types of hepatitis? Usually hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. And we can prepare a plan so that this disaster can be, we can minimize the cause. Tuberculosis, another problem. In India, I can tell you again, this disease is coming back because we are not maintaining the guidelines. Lifestyle diseases, suppose coronary artery disease, diabetes, all these things. We ourselves is responsible for developing the disease because we are not maintaining our daily to daily uh, food calorie. We are taking much more calorie what exactly we need, but we are taking too much calories. That is one of the type, one of the things that is developing diabetes. And as a complication of diabetes, the most patients develop coronary artery disease, diseases in eyes, renal diseases, cardiac diseases, liver diseases, and all these things. So we can minimize this impact by following proper guidelines. Cancer, it is another, another part. There are many patients, they are suffering from cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, these are the things, and we can minimize also by implementing certain things. And there are many other preventable diseases. So, what I want to tell is, we can minimize the impact of health-related disaster. That means these are preventable. So if, if we can properly plan properly, we can minimize the health-related disasters. And this is a rabid dog. This is a dog bite injury. And you'll have to give. What you'll have to give? First of all, Thorough wound wash for 15 minutes, wound wash under running tap water with soap and water. What are the second thing? You will have to inject rabies immunoglobulin. What are that? That is the regular antibodies against rabies. The antibodies has to be given locally. And what are the other treatment? That is, you will have to give the vaccine, five to four to five doses of vaccine uh, in case of animal bite. So, general health effects are disasters. One is the communicable diseases. Number second is the population displacement, already I mentioned. Climate exposure, that is very, very important. So, we have to take care of these things. Due to the global warming, the climatic exposure is now changing. Now, food and nutrition, that is very important. Water supply and sanitation. And damage to the health infrastructure, mental health. And finally, I must tell the waste management. Because the population is growing like anything. And so, the chance, the scope for waste management is very important. Now, in earthquakes, it may cause many deaths and injuries. The toll depends largely on the three factors. Number one is the housing type. When you plan, you plan accordingly. You will have to obey, maintain the government rules, and you will have to construct accordingly, and you will have to use proper constructive material, construction material. One of one of my uh, colleagues, elder brother, died in Malaysia long back due to the sudden collapse of a house. So I can remember that one. And in India, there are many things. There are many, many, many buildings are becoming, uh, may, close, may uh, collapse due to the improper structure. Housing type is there. The time of the day, that is night, 
day or night when the earthquake occurs. That is important. Suppose in day you can you can at least uh, get the chance to prevent. Uh, you can take some 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 part of the some from part of the rescue operations. But in night the death toll will be higher in night. The population density of that area is very important. In case of blast injury, bomb blast causes death and severe injuries in both military and civilian practice. The injuries occur following sudden change in the environmental pressure originating from the explosion. And different types of blast injuries are there. Primary blast injury due to the blast wave, secondary blast injury, tertiary blast injury, and miscellaneous blast injuries. These are all separate factors. Now, direct impact of disasters on hospitals. This is important. A hospital can be directly affected by a disaster when the hospital or healthcare institution is located in the impact area and is damaged or destroyed. That means there is no scope for rehabilitation or treatment or anything because the hospital building has collapsed. So, in that those places, the disaster impact of disaster will be much more. And coming to the man-made disasters, war, terrorism, accidents and fire. These are four main things and we, we ourselves is creating this. War, we are responsible. Terrorism, yes. The world, some part of the world is responsible. Accidents, car accidents, railway accidents, air traffic accidents, everything. That is the creation of the, of ourselves. Fire is very important. They are, thereby, we will have to minimize this one. These are all preventable. This is the terrorist attack you can remember. This is another in India. That was in USA. And it is in India. This is in India. These are the effects of car accidents, railway accidents, and the sea. This is the impact, impact of overloading a truck. This is also, I am always telling that everybody is dying, but there is also some hope escape from disaster over the Hudson River. You can see this picture and many, many, the full, the, actually the entire uh, passengers of that flight has escaped. That is a plane crash. So, the most important part is regarding disaster. Can we prevent it? Can we minimize the losses? Can we minimize the impact of disaster? Can we prepare ourselves prior to any disaster? This is the main thing in disaster management. So you can, uh, number one is can we prevent it? We cannot prevent any natural disaster. It is not at all preventable. But implementing certain plans, we can minimize the impact of the disaster. So, definition of disaster management is refers to the range of activities designed to maintain control over the disaster and emergency situation and to provide the framework for helping at risk persons to avoid or recover from the impact of the disaster. Now, coming to the emergency response. What is emergency response? We will have to train ourselves. Activities undertaken immediately following a disaster. It includes damage and needs assessment, number one thing, immediate relief, rescue and debris clearance. And first of all, in case of trauma management, the basic guidelines we will have to take. What is that? That is the triage. How many of you know, can tell regarding the trials? There are three markers, four markers are there. One is the red, one is the yellow, one is the green, and one is the black. That means in a disaster, where the disaster has taken place due to the accident or anything. The red tag has to be applied on serious, most serious patients. Next, your yellow tag has to be applied less serious. 
pain has to be applied on comparatively better patients who are manageable at least if you can see after look after these patients after three or four hours that um, uh, major problem will not happen and what is black that means in a disaster area the patient has died that means we have given the dead black tag and what is the utility of this because when there is a disaster then everybody will have to run through on the spot utilize these triads apply these triads send those patients to the hospital the duty of the hospital authority is very important and they can always manage because the screen the all the bodies all the patients have been screened so they will save these patients immediately and they will take care immediately and the need for basic life support basic life support is very important in the management of disaster planning basic life support that is the cardio pulmonary resuscitation that means c for stands for cardio p stands for pulmonary c stands for cerebral and to revive or resuscitation is for r so these things are very important for the disaster management particularly for the health professional group next your important is activities the rehabilitation activities that are undertaken to help the victims return to the normal life and be reintegrated into the regular community functions it includes restoration of repairable public utilities housing and resettlement inclusive of provision of new life wood activities reconstruction after the disaster everything you have planned you have taken care then you will have to reconstruct it return of community to pre disaster situation which includes replacement of infrastructure lifeline facilities that is important and putting order in the physical environment utilizing post disaster assistance to improve long term development prospects development relationship of disaster related factors with national developmental planning and this planning should include mitigation measures and should consider potentials for increased disaster risk last of all is prevention measures that actually stop disasters from occurring artificially producing rain to prevent drought that is important there at, at some time we are thinking that interlinking of river can minimize drought but what are the benefits of interlinking of rivers that is the only thing that where the excess pollution will be maybe there that's why that plan has dropped to manage disaster effectively five broad areas are important one is prediction that means your warning system should should be very important preparedness you must be prepare yourself before happening the disasters not after next your is prevention next is your prevention protection publicity publicity is also very important because you need help and if you, you cannot publicize properly you will not get the global help so that is also very important so disaster preparedness framework is there first of all is vulnerability assessment information system response mechanisms planning resource base public education and training institutional framework warning system and rehearsals repeated rehearsals so a plan must be a clearly stated objective or set of objectives and integrate its in activities tasks and responsibilities to enable the overall obje ob objective or series of objectives to be achieved what does the future hold number 1 increasing disaster risk all of we are in this field 
increasing population density, increasing settlement in high risk area, increased technological hazards and dependency, increased terrorism, biological, chemical or nuclear, where we do not know, aging population in industrialized countries, emerging infectious disease like SARS, international travel, that is the global village. This is the planning has been taken in by India. The high power committee was set in, and these are the planning. But a global planning is very important. And of course, what I must say, the role of non-government organization along with the government sector is very important. So this role of government institutions are very important, as well as the role of non-government organizations very important. This is our experience when we arrived in Gujarat. All the houses were collapsed in Vachau district and we have taken care only the health part. We are the first man who reached there from outside. And what we have seen, they are very effective. They have introduced, they, are, they restored their electricity by tapping the solar energy. That is very important as a part and parcel for management. We took one X-ray machine because, as because it was uh, 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 your, uh, what I will say, that is the earthquake. So many patients will uh, be injured. So the cause of injury and the effect of injury on the bones and that if there is a fracture, that has to be taken care. And this is most important thing. Capacity of 17,000 gallons of water provide, that is a huge bag. And it's a capacity of 17,000 gallons of water can restore, provide free water supply and clean and safe drinking water to prevent outbreak of epidemic. That is important. We have seen in tsunami. We have seen in Myanmar. We have seen even in Bangladesh. And we have seen in India that by implementing this type of restoring proper water supply, there is minimum outbreak of epidemics. That is very important. And this is a makeshift operation theater under a tent. We have got a boil's machine that is important for anesthetizing a patient. That is an anesthetic machine. We have got the full surgical team and we have operated there. We have done trauma surgery there because all the patients were victimized by directly by trauma. So that is very important for uh, necessity of a makeshift operation theater. That means you can operate under the sky and by this way you can build up a makeshift operation theater. This is another mobile medical van with operation theater. These are, these are available throughout the world and this has got specific advantage. So, we also went to Bangladesh. Sharon Khola was the area where we took the huge medical relief on behalf of Rotary International because they came forward for uh, as a partner in uh, NGOs. And this is a medical camp in progress. This is in Myanmar, I was just telling. That is a nice city. That is a nice country. And in Yangon, after arriving there, we have got the uh, photograph, captured the photograph. And there is a medical uh, camp was there. And that is a very systematic camp, systematic camp in Myanmar. And this is in Bihar Punia flood. That is a flood. We also went there during the flood and after the flood. And this is the relief work, relief materials are there. And this is a medical assistance in Nagapurtinam. And so there are many instances where we can support the government. That I want to tell. We will have to support the government in case of 